नमस्कार टुडे विल स्टडी प्रोलैक्टिन दिस प्रोलैक्टिन इज वन ऑफ द एंटेरियर पिट्यूटरी हार्मोन्स एंड द रिलीज ऑफ प्रोलैक्टिन इज रेगुलेटेड बाय द हाइपोथैलेमिक फैक्टर्स सो प्रोलैक्टिन रिलीजिंग फैक्टर पीआरएफ एंड प्रोलैक्टिन रिलीज इनहिबिटिंग फैक्टर दीज टू एक्ट ऑन एंटेरियर पिट्यूटरी टू either uh, increase or decrease the release of prolactin so prolactin uh, hypothalamus releases prolactin releasing factor which acts on anterior pituitary to secrete prolactin hypothalamus releases prolactin release inhibiting factor which acts on anterior pituitary to inhibit the release of prolactin so <coughs> this stimulates and this inhibits now thyrotropin releasing hormone and oxytocin also have same type of action on anterior pituitary like that of prolactin releasing factor similarly dopamine also has uh, same action as that of prolactin release inhibiting factor so dopamine inhibits the release of prolactin so dopamine agonist if we use they also inhibit the release of prolactin and if we use dopamine antagonists so dopamine antagonist here you can write dopamine antagonists they will increase the release of prolactin so dopamine agonist will have action like that of prolactin release inhibiting factor dopamine antagonist will have actions like that of your uh, uh, prolactin releasing factor or prolactin now this prolactin acts on the prolactin receptor and this prolactin receptor is a tyrosine kinase linked receptor uh, uh, following jack start pathway jack 2 and start 5 are involved and this receptor can be of three types prolactin receptor 1 prolactin receptor 2 again this two can be prolactin receptor 2 long and prolactin receptor 2 short so the, in this way the three prolactin receptors are there and these receptors are present in mammary gland and ovary so in the uh, mammary gland they produce your milk production so when there is a suckling reflex uh, by a baby that will stimulate your hypothalamus to secrete your prolactin and that uh, acts on mammary gland to uh, produce milk so when prolactin acts on mammary gland there will be synthesis and uptake of amino acid to, so that there will be synthesis of milk proteins like casein alpha lactoalbumin then there will be also uptake of glucose synthesis of milk sugar this uh, lactose then synthesis of milk fat also uh, occurs so we say that milk is your complete food containing protein uh, carbohydrate and fat then prolactin also causes proliferation and differentiation of uh, mammary gland then prolactin acts on the prolactin receptor in ovary to inhibit the gonadotrophin release and gonadotrophin release inhibition inhibits your uh, ovulation that's why when the, when the baby is, uh, is uh, taking your milk that means in case of nursing mothers there is less chance of pregnancy this is the reason because for in nursing mothers prolactin inhibits prolactin inhibits the gonadotrophin release and because of that there will be no ovulation and so there is less chance of pregnancy during uh, uh, milk feeding to the baby then let us discuss the functions of uh, prolactin and for first one uh, prolactin control milk production in women and uh, uh, act as natural contraceptive during breastfeeding as we just discussed during your breastfeeding uh, the, the the prolactin um, action ovary and inhibits gonadotrophin release which causes your inhibition of ovulation then uh, prolactin another uh, uh, important uh, function is it acts as a parental hormone so the mother takes care of her baby mm, that's why we call this prolactin as a parental hormone then it also stimulates mitogenesis in lymphocytes 
so may play a role in regulating immune response. So these are the functions of prolactin and the drugs uh, acting we can uh, just we have discussed that dopamine uh, has actions like that of prolactin release inhibiting factor so dopamine agonists will inhibit prolactin release dopamine antagonist will increase prolactin release so dopamine agonists d2 receptor agonists bromocriptin cabergolin quinagolide all these inhibit prolactin release so decrease the excessive prolactin secretion so we can uh, use them uh, it, to treat galactosia. Galactosia is a condition when there is increased milk production occurs. It, uh, it can be used to prevent lactation and uh, it can also be used to treat prolactin secreting pituitary tumors that is prolactinomas. Then the dopamine antagonist or D2 receptor antagonist uh, all these antipsychotic drugs are uh, D2 receptor antagonists like haloperidol, droperidol, risperidol, lisuride sulpirid so they increase prolactin release and cause hyperprolactinemia so that is a side effect of uh, all these antipsychotic drugs d2 receptor antagonists so they produce hyperprolactinemia which leads to your breast development in male the condition is called gynecomastia so the gynecomastia side effect of uh, antipsychotics occurs because of this because they increase the prolactin release and produce hyperprolactin. So this is all about your prolactin. Thank you.